Caucasian American mm -hmm. is asking, what are your thoughts on China giving ethnic minorities extra points on their SATs, uh, which is a standardized test, and bypassing the three children policy, um, meaning that theoretically they are allowed to have more um, children than the ethnically Han um, majority? Um, so theoretically, this sounds nice. Um, but it does have a lot of consequences. So I can't remember the details off the top of my head, but I think at least for the Uyghur minority or for many minorities living in Western China and Xinjiang, like, um, them having a lot of children has, um, been very discouraged recently. So, um, but it's more under the table. So there's like one, just you being discouraged from having more children. And there's also documentation of forced sterilizations and stuff like that. Um, in terms, so, and then in terms of the SATs, um, this is a problem that we see in other contexts where it's basically institutionalizing lowered expectations. It's like institutionalizing the bigotry of lower expectations for a minority group. At the same time, I do see the reasoning behind lowering the standards for a group that is historically disadvantaged. It does not have the same resources available as another group to get all of the extra holistic um, uh, educational um, support to reach that same standard, right? However, um, I watched a really interesting video about Han supremacism recently and the rise of Han supremacism in China and also the Chinese diaspora. And it was really interesting because they talk about how these policies are what Han supremacists point to as, um, they they hold them against these minorities very strongly and they use this to show that they are receiving unequal treatment um preferential treatment um to the point uh, that they would deny that they are being oppressed in other ways um i don't know if there's any data behind how effective this like affirmative action approach is in china um i know in the united states affirmative action my impression of it is that it's actually not very successful in meeting its goals. Um, and also there's the generalized criticism of it in institutionalizing um, lowered expectations. Um, but that's a bigger conversation. Um, it's, uh, it's so complicated. I've been, yeah. Hey guys, if you're a fan of blasphemy and sexy Callie, you know, like me, then you need to be sure to subscribe to our newsletter. Link in the description below. Because if you subscribe, we will send you a free copy of our Blasphemous Art ebook. And let me tell you, it is the tastiest blasphemy that you can find anywhere available today. And we are so generous with our blasphemy that we continue to send you more blasphemy every week. So make sure to subscribe. Link in the description below.